But I would say that AI is impacting and influencing all of these roles, but I wouldn't say that AI is the cause. Uh, there's a correlation yeah. between AI and the rise of these. Uh, so the first one I'll start with is customer marketing. So we first saw an interest in creating a, a, a uh, discrete role for customer marketing in response to COVID. So prior to COVID, Conversion rates were fairly predictable. So if I spend this much on Google ads and I send this many emails and I run this many webinars and I do paid LinkedIn ads, fairly predictable conversion rates to predict pipeline and then ultimately revenue. But all that predictability went kind of wonky in COVID. And so what we saw was, you know, more people attending webinars because they were bored, right. but conversions down. Or, you know, particularly for a lot of the SaaS companies we work with, demos, actual demos of their product shot up, but then no contracts came of those or the contract conversion rate was a lot lower. So CMOs started looking around and realized, hey, if we keep more of the customers we have, we have to bring in fewer net new. And it's typically cheaper to do that too. And the other piece of that was how can we get more business or more revenue out of our existing accounts? Because again, that's easier and typically less expensive than trying to land a new customer. Uh, so that's what we saw. And, and it's been interesting to see, it's really been, I call them two flavors of customer marketing. There's the one that is a little more in the traditional where it's about customer engagement, customer advocacy, kind of focused on that retention piece. It's user groups, it's case studies. It's how do you get your customers to advocate for you and your product? The other flavor that's really the one that's been emerging more is really a demand general. It just so happens your target is this defined list, list of existing accounts. I joke it's mm. the, the companies that are already in Salesforce. Right. And really right. it's about getting more business out of an existing account, like I mentioned. Um, so for example, we just did a senior director of customer marketing for a global telecom company. And what happened there is they had new investment from PE firm. P firm joins member joins the board, looks around and says, you have these really large multinational customers. What are you doing about getting more business out of those in addition to looking at new logos? And hence the customer marketing role was born. You still have traditional customer marketing in the sense of we'll call it engagement advocacy, but this new flavor is really a demand gen role just with a defined set of, of accounts, existing yeah. accounts. 